hello everyone in this video we'll study about the searching and types of searching well first of all what do you mean by searching searching means finding the location of an element is called as searching there are two different types of searching methods the first one is a linear search and the second one is a binary search but here in this video we'll study about only a linear search and its algorithm and its working this is the very simplest method of searching in which the element is to be searched is compared with each element of the array that is one by one from the beginning to till end of the array say for example in the linear search the searching element is present in the first position itself then we will note down its position and will come out of the array we won't go for the next suppose if the searching element is present at the last position then we have to make comparison right from the beginning to the till end of the array so this linear search is also called as a sequential search now we'll study the algorithm this is what the a simple algorithm of a linear search so step 1 location is equals to minus 1 that means location is a variable that is initialized as minus 1 why it is initialized as minus 1 because array initialization starts with zeroth element hence fourth it is taking as minus 1 now step 2 for t is equals to 0 to n minus 1 say for example we have given the value as 5 5 minus 1 means 4 that means for t is equals to 0 to 4 initially what is the value assigned to p 0 0 is assigned to p every time this for loop gets increased by plus 1 now this time 0 next time it gets increased by plus 1 1 then next time 2 next time 3 next time 4 like this every time p goes on increases by plus 1 now we'll take an array uh, here n is equals to 5 okay that means uh, n minus 1 means 0 to 4 and that the searching element is 22 i would like to find the element 22 is there or not if it is there then we should identify its position so we have stored a five different elements into the respective locations 11 is stored at the location a of 0 and 9 is stored at the location a of 1 then 17 is stored at a of 2 and 35 is stored at a of 3 location and last 22 is stored at a of 4 all these elements are stored in a consecutive memory locations so among these five numbers i would like to search the element called as 22 now i'll take you to the algorithm here so for p is equals to 0 to n minus 1 that means 0 to 4 5 u minus 1 is 4 now straight away the condition here if open parenthesis a of p a of p means what is the value of p 0 a of p means a of 0 a of 0 is equals to element element means searching element what is the searching element 22 so what is the value stored in a of 0 we we'll just have a look at this a of 0 the value stored in a of 0 is 11 searching element is 22 that means 11 is equals to 22 condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 now p becomes 1 see this location is equals to p will execute only when the condition is true so our condition becomes false again it goes to for loop and p gets increased as i said earlier every time p goes on increases by plus 1 now p becomes now 1 again condition if a of p means a of 1 is equals to element element means searching element what is the value stored in the a of 1 9 9 is equals to 22 again condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 okay so again now p becomes now 2 okay next if a of p is equals to element a of p means a of 2 element means searching element what is the value stored in the a of 2 17 17 is equals to 22 17 is equal to 22 condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop 
and p gets increased by plus 1 okay now again p becomes now 3 so if a of p means a of 3 a of 3 is equals to element element means searching element what is the value stored in a of 3 35 35 is equals to searching element is 22 35 is equals to 22 condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 again it comes here again it goes to for loop and again this time p gets increased by 4 increased by plus 1 now it becomes 4 if a of p is equals to element a of p means a of 4 what is the value stored in the a of 4 22 searching element is also 22 22 is equals to 22 now condition becomes true when this condition becomes true we'll execute this statement that is location is equals to p so what is the value of p 4 that 4 is assigned to which variable location before that the earlier value were assigned to location was minus 1 now the new value will be stored in the location that is 4 4 will be stored in location immediately go to step 3 directly it comes to step number 3 here if location is greater than or equals to 0 what is the value of location 4 4 is greater than or equal to 0 yes it is true condition true condition true means will execute before the else there are two statements are there the first one this is before the else and this is after the else so our condition is true condition true means will execute this statement print loc what is the value of loc 4 that means uh, 4 i'm going to print that means uh, the searching element is uh, present at the position 22 then step 4 exit this is about the one case now again i would like to take the same array instead of 22 i'll change the searching element uh, 15 again n equal to 5 0 to 4 now searching element is changed last time it was 22 now this time it is 15 but look at the array 15 is not at all present in this array that means uh, we need to display an appropriate message called as search is unsuccessful that means 15 is 15 is not present in the list then we have to display an appropriate message now i'll take you to the again array step 1 location is equals to minus 1 so array initialization st starts with the zeroth element hence for we are taking as minus 1 now step 2 for p is equal to 0 to n minus 1 what is the value of n 5 5 minus 1 is 4 0 to 4 now what is the value of p 0 as i said in the earlier case every time p goes on increases by 1 now what is the value of p now 0 if a of p is equals to element a of p means a of 0 element is 15 what is the value stored what is the value stored in a of 0 11 11 is equals to 15 condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 okay next again and now if uh, a of p is equals to element a of p means a of 1 what is the value stored in a of 1 9 9 is equals to 15 condition false condition false condition false means again it goes to for loop and again p gets increased by plus 1 now p becomes 2 again what is the value stored in a of 2 a of 2 17 17 is equal to 15 a condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 next again p is equals to 3 what is the value stored in a of 3 what is the value stored in a of 3 35 35 is equals to 15 condition false means again it goes to for loop and p gets increased by plus 1 now again it goes to for loop now p gets increased by plus 1 p becomes now 4 so what is the value stored in a of 4 22 22 is equals to 15 condition false condition false means uh, again it goes to for loop and condition becomes false condition becomes false it comes out of the for loop and uh, directly directly it comes to step 3 if location is greater than or equal to 0 what is the value assigned to location minus 1 Minus one is greater than or equal to zero. Condition false. Condition false means we'll execute after the else. After the else, we have a statement called as print search is unsuccessful. That means what we were searching for fifteen, but fifteen is not present in the list. 
so we are going to display an appropriate message called as search is unsuccessful step 4 exit in linear search how it is searching one after the another right from first location to till last location okay this is a very simple and uh, uh, easy to search an element thanks for watching this video